Hello everyone, I'm Kat, if you don't know me already, this is my YouTube channel and today I am doing a first impressions review of the W7 On The Rocks palette which is kind of a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette. Obviously the subculture palette had quite a lot of mixed reviews and I must admit that when I first saw it I felt completely in love with all of the colours and I was really gutted about the reviews that it had. So when I saw this, I knew I had to have it. Let's see how it fares in comparison to the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Obviously, the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette retails for something like 50 quid. This is five, so we'll see. Also, I do a mini tutorial in this and I create this look. Uh, I am not a makeup artist, just for the record, um, so don't come for me. Let's get started on the packaging for this W7 On The Rocks palette. The palette itself is made out of cardboard and it's not bad quality whatsoever. It's made out of 14 shades over two rows. All of the shades are named after different drinks and cocktails, however some are called things like Cheers, Last Call and Body Shot. Uh, all of the names are printed on the actual palette itself as well so you can differentiate them. And it also comes with this little brush which is actually also quite decent quality. Without further ado, let's start with the tutorial. The first shade I'm going to use just to set a base is a cream colour called Moscato and that just goes all over the eyelid as such. Next I want to start building up this colour by using this first yellow which is called Pina Colada and again that goes all over the eyelid as I start to build up that base. Next I'm going in with the second yellow called Bellini and this is going also over the eyelids but I'm concentrating mostly on the crease area just to deepen up the look a little bit. And I have to say that these two colours are blending absolutely beautifully together and it's looking really good. I'm really impressed so far with the pigment. I'm going to start creating a little bit of dimension now with that light brown and this one's called Bloody Mary. Um, I'm going to put that all in the outer crease mostly but I'm going to blend it into the centre as you can see. This dark brown shade, Last Call, is the final colour I'm putting into the base of the look and that's going to go really, really, really blended into the outer corners of my eye to make sure it gives it that depth and dimension that I've been looking for. I'm using the Ofra Sculpting Wand to cut out my crease and you have absolutely no idea how long this took me. I'm ashamed to say it took me quite a lot longer than you see on this video. There it is after about half an hour trying to cut my crease out. In that crease I'm now going to put this shimmer colour called Espresso Martini and it does darken the look up a bit more than I was hoping. I was hoping for a bit more of a pop but that's my fault. But here it is. Last but not least, this beautiful teal colour is called Caracal and this is going to be smoked out on my lower lash line and I'm really going to make sure that's nice and blended because I don't want there to just be like one dark line which to be honest kind of ended up a little bit like that anyway but I was really really happy with the final look once I put my liner and my lashes on and everything and I was really happy with it, I thought it looked really beautiful. For lips I just used the NYX Lip Lingerie in Cameo. If you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter, my handle is cat underscore constantine and you will see it at the end of the video. Bye!